What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. We're talking about queen charges, queen walks at Town Hall 10, 11, and 12, mainly queen charges though, because you have a lot of different options in Clash of Clans of how to get your queen in the base. You can do uh, jump spell, stone slammer, wall wrecker, wall breakers. There's just so many different options now with the siege machines and everything. And um, this is something I've covered in the past in uh, videos before, but I want to really make it clear in this video and show you guys all the different options because you might think, when would someone ever use a jump spell on a queen charge? But there actually are quite a few uh, applications of jump spells and wall breakers, stuff that we actually haven't seen in a while since the siege machines came out. So I'm going to be highlighting some of that today. In this case, it was a nice use of the stone slammer um, and we'll talk about why you would want to use the Stone Slammer over other things. But a big focus is going to be when to use the, the Jump Spell, when to use the Wall Breakers instead of uh, bringing out the Siege Machines. And a big part of it kind of comes down to the, the troop space in your clan castle. Because obviously uh, the Siege Machine holds some pretty important troops. Especially if you're a Town Hall 11 or a Town Hall 10, even more importantly... These are some very high level troops relative to your own troops. So if they're not going to get much value in the siege machine, you might be better off using them elsewhere um, and adding them to maybe your minor army or adding them to your uh, La Lune as opposed to having like Valks or Ice Golems jump out of your CC um, in front of your queen. Sometimes there's not that much reason to. Um, other times it'll help kind of protect your queen if there's a ton of stuff there that's going to take out your queen if there's nothing tanking for her. So this case was a stone slammer, I think got pretty good value, opened up two layers of walls, could have used the wall wrecker also, they were pretty much interchangeable uh, because the town hall was opposite where the queen charge was coming from. So the miners moved their way through, Tesla farm kind of on the bottom, but that's not too much of an issue. One thing I've noticed with Tesla farms is, and we'll fast forward a little bit, for Tesla farms, the uh, they tend to be better when they're kind of mixed in with storages. Uh, these were this was an okay Tesla farm, but um, ideally you you have high HP buildings between them. So if miners hit them, they take a long time on those storages. Maybe even have a skeleton trap as well that can really uh, get some good value defensively for you. So moving on to the next attack here, uh, we'll take a look at a Town Hall eight attack as well. Sorry, not Town Hall 8, a Town Hall 11, uh, base number 8. Kind of got confused as I looked at that. Um, we have, once again, the use of the Stone Slammer. We'll take a look at one more attack that uses it here, and then we'll move on to some other types of, uh, of uses. So this is a another Queen Charge. Um, oh, excuse me, this was a Jump Spell one. Sorry, I, I wrote these down yesterday, so they're not uh, completely fresh in my mind, although I have watched all these attacks before. Um, this was the use of the jump spell, and if you look at the base, you have the town hall, let me just pause for a quick second, you have the town hall on the queen side, where she's coming from, so you can't use the wall wrecker, obviously. Battle blimp, well, you have an air defense here, now could it get a hit? Probably, if you can get to target that. The Teslas, that air defense, you gotta be kind of tricky when you replace it by the P.E.K.K.A. statue, um, but really there's not much value, it just kind of opens up... Um, you know, it gets one drop off, maybe opens up the walls, maybe gets that corner too, but nothing, it won't get anything the jump spell won't get. The jump spell will get just as much open as the stone slammer, and in this case, uh, I think it was a, a good choice to kind of use the jump spell and not go for the stone slammer, because the slammer is going to get a lot of value on the lalo, and that's something that's often overlooked. People just say, all right, I'm going to use my siege machine because it's a queen charge. Well, in a La Luna attack, that Stone Slammer is like one level, like 50 balloon. It's going to get like a ton of value, and it's like a golem in that it has these little balloons come out of it once it dies. So um, don't overlook the, the value of it in a La Luna attack. Same thing with a Battle Blimp. Sometimes you want to directly target the Town Hall, like Town Hall 12, get it taken out quicker. Um, but in this case, yeah, it drops in the Stone Slammer. It's actually going to uh, tank that air defense a little bit, soak up some traps. Uh, the way he ended up deploying it, it took shots from both air defenses, uh, but that allows those Lava Hounds to be a lot healthier. Um, the first one just barely pops, so there's going to be a full health Lava Hound cutting across the base, soaking up all those traps, which is good value, uh, soaking up the uh, Skeletons 
and some red air bombs also taking for the queen a little bit the, the balloons meanwhile cutting across still has the warden's ability so i think yeah in this case um you can see that it was worth it, it it's the cost of one spell so um that's definitely worth it if your uh, stone slammer is not going to do a whole lot for your queen in terms of you know making it so you don't have to pop her ability or making it so she can get farther into the base than she otherwise would. If it's really just going to be for opening up walls, that's the only value you get. Um, think of how you know having max balloons plus the slammer itself is going to be that much more valuable to your Lalo or um, to whatever type of attack you're doing. Maybe it's miners and you want to use the wall wrecker or the slammer even uh, to target a different part of the base to tank, whatever. Um, it's, uh, it's something to think about. All right, moving along here. Uh, number 14, we have Boss Omeng. And um, like I said, it's been a little while since I've seen these attacks, but I believe this might have been another jump spell usage. Yeah, actually, this one was wall breakers and a jump spell. So this is a pretty serious uh, operation with the queen charge. And I've never been a huge fan of these like really complex queen charges because you're just kind of asking for something to go wrong sometimes. Um, but in this case, under rage, able to push those wall breakers in. There was a wizard tower, there was a mortar, a little bit sketchy. Um, but the, uh, the pathing for the queen is perfect because she just goes directly into the base. Funnel on both sides and um, she doesn't have to even walk anywhere. She's going directly in. Then the jump spell, um, going to access a ton on this base. And um, you're thinking, okay, well the wall wrecker could have kind of been used here um, to get maybe the same value. I question whether it would have actually opened up uh, over this wall like the jump spell would. Uh, in his doing, but it would have gotten similarly far. But in this case, there's not a lot of DPS. You know, there's one expo. Okay, there's going to be the CC. I guess the eagle does light up. So um, in that sense, there's a little bit more now. But um, he's already going to commit the rages, already going to commit the ability to this. Uh, I think the ability will be used over the defensive queen in just a moment. So the uh, wall wrecker is going to be used to tank for the miners preventing the usage of a heal spell for much longer than would otherwise have been needed and then also those max miners are going to be very uh, effective in pushing through the base here uh, the queen actually still hasn't used her ability right here we'll have to pop it over the king and over the eagle uh, meanwhile his king gets some great value up top with the uh, teslas and that's one thing um, just to give another piece of advice for the king up there, the ability was used a little bit later than I might have usually recommended. If you see your king approaching like a mortar and a tesla or two defenses or even just a tesla where you know there's probably a giant bomb next to it on the outside of the base as people often do, wait on your king's ability. You don't want those barbarians he spawns to be killed right away by the giant bomb you know is going to be there. Wait for him to trigger the giant bomb, then hit the ability, even if it's a little bit later than usual. Uh, those extra barbarians are actually pretty powerful if they don't die to splash damage. So anyway, the queen pushes through, and um, once again, you know, the price of a spell, and uh, maybe an extra rage, maybe not, depends how you look at it. Um, but that extra minor troop space is something very powerful that people kind of forget about. You know, you don't think about, oh, I could have five max miners going through the base, plus a siege machine to tank for everything. Um, don't overlook that. Um, next base here is going to be number 18. I think one more Town Hall 11. No one in Town Hall 10s. Um, this was just a classic Wall Wrecker move. And um, we can talk about why Wall Wrecker over Stone Slammer, over Jump Spell. Um, I think it was overall a pretty good choice of a, of a, a Queen Charge. Reason being, um, it's going to definitely save a Rage Spell. And... Uh, that's something you want to look for if you're going to get some very nice tanking value. And that's going to be much more applicable to Town Hall 10 because um, it, it, the DPS is not nearly as much. So right here, it tanked for all those cannons. It even took out one of the cannons and went directly through it. And then in the CC, um, I believe there's some Valks. Not going to get a ton of value out of those Valks, unfortunately, just because they got frozen there. Um, actually a P.E.K.K.A. in there, which will lock on to the Queen and get her pretty low, not entirely taken out. Um, but this is saving the Queen from having to, you know, be multiple rages on her. Um, <clears throat> it also 
opened up multiple layers, something wall breakers probably couldn't have done with the multi inferno there. Um, jump spell, okay, possibly. Um, stone slammer. If you look at how it was set up, there was a bunch of cannons and like an air defense behind them. So the slammer might have been able to get, you know, similarly far, but it wouldn't have tanked those cannons, which would have made it so the queen had to use a rage or ability sooner because the cannons were locked onto her. Um, so I think the wall wrecker was a good choice. It's more precise, more reliable, of course, than the uh, stone slammer because it's you know exactly where it's going. It's not going to get distracted by Teslas that pop or anything like that. So this was a good choice, in my opinion. Um, and I think that uh, the jump spell, you know, it's tricky. Uh, you can, I like using it just kind of on places where, you know, the, the wall wrecker isn't going to path correctly because the town hall is not set up properly. The slammer is going to be too unreliable. There's an air defense. Maybe there's possible Teslas. You can't ensure it's going to path in correctly. Maybe there's an air sweeper that'll push it back. Sometimes the slammer doesn't even get hits off and it won't even open up any walls. If it just keep, it keeps getting pushed back continuously um so when both siege machines aren't going to work and wall breakers just are too risky you want to get farther in the base than just like one layer that's the best time for a jump spell um but of course part of that uh discussion in your head what you're thinking about when deciding your plan has to be how much value can i get from my siege machine and the cc troops therein uh if i use it elsewhere and do something differently for my queen charge okay one more attack number 23 here as we yeah, wrap up this video in just a moment. Um, Stone Slammer back at it. Um, I, so this is the second attack. I thought it was, the, I thought I was going to show two at the beginning, but this is the second attack. It's at the end actually, um, and we'll see how this one plays out. We'll fast forward a little bit because the queen's just starting over in that corner. Baby dragon funnel, great value from that baby dragon. Um, queen going the correct way. Going to have to rage up over the expo wizard tower. Double Ice Golem CC, a little bit of a tough thing for a Queen Charge to face, but she will get through it after she's frozen twice. Uh, Baby Dragon on the other side to funnel as well. And then here's the Stone Slammer. Um, first of all, no air defenses. Maybe a Test Balloon would have been good for seeking air mines, but not a huge deal. Uh, Going to get a lot of value. There is an Air Sweeper, so um, that was a bit of a lucky uh, drop on that Stone Slammer. It's taking out a solid, like, four defenses here. Maybe even it'll get a hit on this Inferno Tower. Uh, yeah, actually gets that Inferno Tower down as well. Then inside has a Balloon. I think that maybe would have been a trigger seeking air mines for the healers. Although the Slammer itself already probably did that. Um, and then some Ice Golems, which uh, really don't do a whole lot because the Queen's not even there. Uh, a Wizard would have been nice on that Town Hall to speed things up. But um, the Slammer pretty much set the entire, like, side for the Miners. It was pretty incredible how that worked out because that was, like, supposed to be the stuff the Queen would take out. But in this case, the Slammer did the job uh, itself. That's especially strong at Town Hall 10. I would say when we're talking about jump spells, wall breakers, um, you can use them Town Hall 10 through 12 uh, as alternatives to the Siege Machine. But uh, as you get down lower, Town Hall 10 mainly... You should be thinking air on the side of the siege machine because it's so strong with the queen. Whereas as you get to like Town Hall 12, you want to be more creative, maybe use wall breakers or a jump spell um, because you need to be as crafty as you can um, to try to pack as much of a punch in your miners, in your Lalo, which otherwise is going to have trouble getting through those Town Hall 12 defenses. So a nice back end freeze there, kind of just, you know, a contingent spell. I assume not quite a plan where to use it. So it goes ahead and puts on those last few defenses. And that'll pretty much wrap it up. Miners go through and the queen is kind of stuck in the middle. But uh, nice triple there. And that'll do it for today's video. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two about how to exactly uh, coordinate these queen charges and how to maybe get some extra value out of your siege machine if you don't need to use it with your queen charge. So it's just something you should be thinking about regardless of what you actually end up going with in your plan. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.